by GX, the Vile Plume, the Forest of Giant Plants to make it all happen, and of course Shaman EX. Without that, it wouldn't be possible either. Absolutely. So it looks like we're just about to get things started off. And just real quickly, give me uh, Puka's pick. Which who do you think is going to win? I know you said it was 50-50 before, but I want you to choose a side. Uh, it just feels like it's John Cutler's tournament. Uh, I gotta go with him. It, it just feels like the whole weekend. It's there's been a buzz. It is the weekend of Decidueye, so that, that's my pick. You're voting with your heart. I like it. <laughs> uh, I will take Alex. Okay, you're uh, voting for the guy who has gotten the win so far. I will voting for the guy you're not voting for. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so here we see prize cards. Ooh, two Mega Turbo, and gets this. Uh, Alex was able to destroy Alex Shemansky's hand with Getsis in the top eight match. And uh, who goes first? Looks like John Keller is the one who won the opening coin flip. Opens Lugia EX, attaches a double colorless. Rowlet, Forest of Giant Plants. Are we going to see something happen here? Professor Sycamore drawing Keller a brand new hand of seven cards in the very first turn. And for those of you watching at home, be sure to get on social media. Use that hashtag, play Pokemon. Uh, join the conversation. Tell us who you think is going to win this match. Will it be the longtime veteran John Kettler with his crazy Decidueye Vileplume deck, or will it be the Mega Rayquaza player Alex Wilson looking for his second regional championship victory in just two years? Trainer's Mail by John Kettler finds an Ultra Ball. All right, this is one of the first steps to putting together a really absurd turn one for John, as we've seen him do many times over the course of this tournament. Oh yeah, his turn is going to go on for a while. Uh, I see Ultra Ball, I think I might even see Computer Search in his hand. So he's going to be able to search out whatever he wants here. Uh, opts to discard a Dartrix there. He could have played it immediately, even, wow, discarding a Revitalizer. Man, what cards does he have where he's discarding those? Yeah, I guess we'll see what he chooses to get here. Ultra Ball is going to find any Pokemon in Kettler's deck. He's going to, as we've seen him do this whole tournament, take a little while to determine what's in his prizes, maybe take some notes, compare it to his hand. But uh, if I were you at home, I would definitely get comfortable. Uh, I think it's going to be, Kettler's going to be playing a lot of cards this turn. Ideally, if everything goes right for him, he'll be, you know, computer searching, probably ultra balling, ultra balling, uh, shamaning, just trying to get as much of a board presence as possible. And there are a lot of decisions going on here. Uh, every time you play ultra ball, you have to decide which two cards you want to discard. Uh, if you mess even one of those small decisions up, you might not have a card you need to get this combo off. You need to play things in the correct order. Uh, you need to make sure you're drawing enough cards with Shaman EX. Don't bench too many Shaman EX so you have enough space for the right things. Uh, it, it seems like a very straightforward thing. Evolve your Pokemon. Uh, get Forest to Giant Plants. Get your Stage 2s out. But the process of getting there can be very complicated. So the Ultra Ball does resolve, finds an Oddish. So it looks like John is going to have both of his grass type basics in play, trying to set up both of his big, powerful stage twos. And let's see where he goes from here, consulting his discard pile. Revitalizer, <laughs> fine. There's the answer. Yeah, so Finds one Dartrix coming into play, another Oddish. Well, the first Oddish, I think John had to pick in this matchup in this spot between getting a Decidueye GX first or a Vileplume first. It would be Vileplume. Uh, no contest. And here's a Shaman setup. Five new cards for Kettler. Giving him a lot to said, work with. I think he does have Decidueye GX, so uh, that will probably hit the field this turn. I mean, he's not going to complain about that. <laughs> Considering which to take with his trainer's mail. Oh. Besides on none, whiffs on the trainer's mail. That's not very good. <laughs> Maybe he has another Ultra Ball to find a second Shaman EX in this situation. Uh, draw some more cards. Turn one, stage two, GX, hitting the board for John Kettler. Oh, and there's a computer search. That's right. <laughs> I forgot he had computer search. Uh, so, yeah, probably finding another Shaman EX here to draw five additional cards with setup, maybe even six, if he can play that last card from his hand. And uh, going to keep digging to find that Gloom and that Vile Plume and try to turn off those item cards before Alex gets a chance to play. Choosing the Shaman EX, taking a little bit of time to look through the rest of his deck and he is going to be drawing a lot of cards this turn hoping that he can put together those pieces for that vile plume you see the oddish already has a float stone on it which is big uh, will prevent it from being lysander locked later in the game so here we go set up for five more cards does he find the gloom 
it looks like he does. And do we see a Vileplume this turn? Will we see a third Shaman EX to draw more <laughs> cards? Looks like he's considering which cards to discard with an Ultra Ball, just by the way he was moving cards around in his hand. That is the case. Ultra Ball discards Rowlet, Grass Energy. And if you're Alex, all you can do is sit back and watch in horror, probably. Uh, probably crossing your fingers the whole time. Like, please don't play Vileplume. Please don't play Vileplume. My cards are pretty good if I can play them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, John does find a... Uh, Shaman EX, <laughs> so he's going to set up for the third time this turn. This is it. This is the last one. Um, he's got a hit on this final Shaman EX, otherwise Shaman there's no Vile Plume coming. Just three cards. Does he find what he needs? Gloom. There's a Gloom. And is there a Vile Plume to go with and it? Feather arrow two to the active. I don't he's think so. Nope, just puts two and damage pass. counters on the active Shaman EX. Oh, and he misses! passes the turn back. Wow, okay, so now Alex has all of his options available, immediately going to play the Battle Compressor he drew for, for his turn. If John had found Vileplume, I think Alex's hand was actually unplayable. Yeah, I think it's very item heavy at the very least. Uh, and if, if you're Alex, you've got to be feeling lucky at this point. It feels weird to say it's lucky if your opponent doesn't hit their stage two, their second stage two <laughs> on uh, turn one, but I definitely think it's just kind of the expected uh, play pattern with this deck. Wow. Think see. of how many cards he drew that turn, and he just could not find Vileplume at the end of it all. Uh, sometimes it's it's silly to think about. He played three Shaman EX, played Professor Sycamore, uh, Ultra Ball, Computer Surge, did so many things to, to dig through his deck, and at the end of it all, was not able to find that Vileplume. Now oh, Compressor dis discarding Water Energy, N and Execute will be the first play for Alex. I suspect... Uh, We'll be seeing a lot more items played from him this turn, trying to just get as explosive of a setup as possible and, of course, run through as many of the item cards in his deck before that uh, inevitable Vile Plume hits the board on Kettler's side. And we do see Trainer's Mail. I, I don't think Alex has a supporter or anything of the like in his hand. He is going to be completely reliant on one of these Trainer's Mail to hit a, uh, a supporter card or Ultra Ball or something to get him going. Yeah, first one hits a float stone, not exactly what he was looking for here. Uh, I believe he has a second one in his hand. Let's see what he can put together. It's not out of the woods yet. Look at the top four cards of his deck. Rayquaza, Hex Maniac, Skyfield, and oh. Rayquaza Spirit Link. That's not good. <laughs> it is not. He's going to choose the Hex Maniac, shuffle the rest back into the deck, but... Yeah, I don't think he has a lot going on here. And Alex got lucky to uh, be able to play item cards on his turn, but he still might not be able to do anything. I don't see any Versus Seeker, anything he can really do. There's a Float Stone. He can Sky Return and immediately lose the game. Um, float Stone gets attached to the Shaman. I mean, he could certainly play Hex Maniac. Um, force John to then have... Oh, he can uh, also put Execute down. <laughs> he can uh, make it through the turn. Plays the Execute, use the Propagation ability out of his discard pile and puts it right onto his bench to uh, save him from actually losing game one. But I don't think he really has options here. He's just going to have to pass the turn back. I think he's trying to figure out if he wants to play Hex Maniac this turn. <clears throat> uh, if he does that, he would force John to have uh, second double colorless energy to deep hurricane for the knockout. Uh, otherwise, oh, he's just going to retreat to execute. So I think Alex is waiting on the Hex Maniac for a turn where he can play item cards right. and uh, go from there. All right, Kettler starts his turn. Level ball will be the first play. And you got to believe he's looking to set up that Vile Plume this turn. He already has one Decidueye GX. He's got his Lugia in the active position and... Besides uh, missing the Vile Plume on the first turn, Kettler's in a very good position. If there's one bad thing about uh, John's field and his situation here is that his bench is pretty cluttered. He has three Shaman EX, uh, only has room for one Decidueye GX. So if this did get into uh, a deeper game... Oh, there's the Vile Plume. Uh, if this does get into a, a game where um, Alex is able to set up it could get messy, but I think John recognizes this. He's actually going to take this turn to Sky Return and get a Shaman off of his board. Yep. Yeah. Uh, deals with the bench problem that you just spoke of. Also takes a prize. 
computer, computer search. search off the top <laughs> for Alex. So, I mean, that's a pretty decent draw. Um, he can play Hex Maniac and then Computer Search. The problem for him is that he's unable to really, um, really do anything huge this turn. Uh, he, he can Computer Search for a Hoopa EX to play next turn, for example, but he really can't do anything explosive. The best he could do is just grab a Pokemon for next turn or maybe even um, just like grab a Rayquaza EX and attach to it. <laughs> and he does pull the Hoopa to the front of his deck, and that is what he's going to choose. But yeah, he's in a very tough position here. That's the problem with the Hex Maniac, is that you know, you've already used your supporter slot and your abilities are then turned off, so you can't really go off in the same way. And... Well, if, uh, if Alex can make it to the next turn, I think he's got some big plays. The problem is if John, on this turn, can um, get down another Decidueye GX, and a double colorless energy. He could do double feather arrow and get a knockout with either sky return or arrow ball and the game is over. Well, there's the Rowlet and the Dartrix is gonna retreat to Lugia, it looks like. Looks like it. Uh, he will be 10 damage short of the knockout here if he does not have another Decidueye GX. He can feather arrow for two damage counters, arrow ball for 40, but Shaman EX will go on with 10 HP. So it looks like, unless something changes here, Alex will get another turn in this game. And yeah, we're just, yep, just 20 damage there after the... Uh, oh, I don't think he used Feather Arrow. Huh. Oh, no, he did. He did not. Yeah, just the Arrow Ball for 40 damage. That could actually be pretty significant. Uh, now Alex, he gets to take his big turn. Uh, Hoopa EX can search for three different Pokemon EX. I think they'll probably grab Rayquaza EX, Shaman EX, and probably Jirachi EX so that he can search for his second Hex Maniac and uh, maybe play down his Spirit Link, Mega Evolve, and start to get things going. Yeah, so Hoopa, one of the big cornerstone cornerstones of these uh, big EX-focused decks, just kind of turning any one Pokemon search card into three, as you said correctly predicted, Shaman, Rayquaza, and Jirachi added to the hand of Alex. The sequencing here is going to be a little tricky. Um, we certainly want to play down Rayquaza EX and Double Colas. And, uh, oh, actually, he's going to uh, set up for a Sky Return, oh. maybe. He spoke too soon, it looks like. I, it, it's weird, because you want to be able to play the Spirit Link. Uh, but to do that, you have to play Hex Maniac first. <clears throat> so uh, the cards just don't work out where you want to like play your hand down to set up, but you can't play your hand down unless you play Hex Maniac, which means you can't set up. So um, I don't know what Alex is uh, going to go for here. He does choose to attach the double color list to the Rayquaza EX on his board, and he just mega evolves, ending his turn, huh. passing it back to Kettler. All right, so um, the... Oh, sorry, he couldn't use Feather Arrow last turn. He used Hex Maniac. <laughs> Uh, or wait, no, he didn't play Hex Maniac last turn, right? Correct. So he could have used Feather Arrow, huh? So, uh, yeah, that lack of uh, 20 damage on the Shaman EX could come up big in the following turns when he does get access to abilities again. Could uh, use it to just knock out the Shaman EX without even attacking. Now we're at a weird spot. Um, Alex has Mega Rayquaza in play. That threatens quite a bit. I mean, it doesn't look very intimidating now. There's only two Pokemon on the bench. Uh, only one energy, one double colorless energy on the Mega Rayquaza, but we all know how this deck can go. It can go from 0 to 240 in an instant. To be clear, he did play the Hex Maniac, because that's why he didn't play the Hoopa. He just searched it out, right? So he could have, uh, Kettler could have used the Feather Arrows on the Decidueye last turn. Oh, you're uh, right. Re yeah, yeah. Regardless. Yes, that's uh, what happened, yeah. yeah Kettler <laughs> is down three prizes. I knew there had to be okay. some reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Mega Rayquaza becomes active. There's a Jirachi. Stellar Guidance going to search Alex's deck for a supporter card. Looks like he's pulling Colorus to the front. Yeah, I think the initial plan was probably to find Hex Maniac here, but he really doesn't have any other cards to play if he does that. Uh, so just going to go for a Colorus and hoping for something big. If he can grab a Skyfield along yeah. with, I don't know, maybe another Hoopa EX, he can fill the bench up and uh, Emerald Break here for a knockout. Yeah, you're going to be drawing eight cards here off of this Colorus. 
Gonna have to put something together. Not the biggest callers we've ever seen, but eight cards will do. Indeed, and I think the big card here is that Skyfield. Is Alex he able hits. to find one? That has been the story of his weekend. Skyfield at the right time. So he does find a Skyfield. He also finds a Rayquaza EX. Just looks like it's gonna hit the bench potentially. But I don't think he has access to another, like no Hoopa, no other Pokemon. Ugh. Yep, not quite able to do enough damage on this turn. And now the attachment of the second double colorless energy is looking a little ugly. Uh, staring down the Lugia EX with that arrow ball attack. Uh, does more damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. And right now that's representing 120 damage. We see another double colorless that can be 160. And with a couple feather arrows, that could lead to a knockout. Okay, so we see uh, the Emerald Break attack hit. Lugia for 120. Kettler starts his turn looking to put something together here. Unfortunately, uh, Alex did not have the big explosive turn that he wanted. Sycamore. And looks like Kettler is just going to go ahead and Sycamore a pretty full hand away, drawing seven fresh cards. I think the story of this game so far has been missed no. opportunities for Alex. Uh, John missed the first turn Bioplume. Alex was unable to capitalize. He gets a big turn there with an opportunity to get a big knockout, get back in the game, and just doesn't find the right cards. Misses the knockout, and uh, at, at the end of the day, he just might be one or two turns short of being in this game. Keller does find the second copy of this UI GX, so now two of the big GX Pokemon on his bench. Yep. Getting ready to spread damage counters around and pick off uh, the Pokemon on Alex's bench. Kettler looks like he's doing a little mental math, deciding where to put those feather arrows. It's like second the first one is going on Jirachi EX, Jirachi. and yes. the second one as well. So Attach four damage counters on the Jirachi. Attach my energy. Yeah, it seems like his easiest path energy. to a victory here only needs to take three more prize cards to win the game, and, and uh, he can get a two-hit knockout on this Mega Rayquaza, setting up with the Arrow Ball first, and can finish it off with a Razor Leaf from Decidueye GX. And then just got to pick off Jirachi EX for the last two prizes. And there's a Sky Field for Alex. Going to allow him to have up to eight Pokemon on his bench, which is his game plan he's trying to enact with the Rayquaza deck. It looks like he top decked a Shaman EX uh, this turn. So he's kind of figuring out how to lower his hand size a bit, considering playing that AZ supporter. Sure. Pick up that Jirachi and uh, waste those four damage counters from the Feather Arrows. Uh, also allows him to Stellar Guidance on the following turn to grab a Hex Maniac. So he's doing what he can to put himself in a position to potentially stay in this game, but his two prize cards were so bad. It gets this in Giratina. <laughs> Not two cards you want to see. Mega Turbo would have been nice, though. Going into Kettler's turn, he plays a Rowlet onto the bench, Your maybe arrow. looking to set up a third Decidueye Once GX. Shaman. Why not? <laughs> First Feather Arrows onto the Shaman EX. The Looks like Kettler's following that same game. Oh, putting two, uh, the other Feather Arrows on the Rayquaza, just softening that up. Yeah, and it looks like we'll probably see a Razor Leaf from Decidueye GX here. It just takes so much for Alex to respond to this. Uh, he would need... <laughs> Hex Maniac, Rayquaza Spirit Link, Mega Rayquaza, uh, Mega Turbo, Double Colorless, Skyfield, plus eight benched Pokemon to get a knockout. Um, I'm going to say that's not happening. <laughs> that is asking a lot, but uh, I am upset that you don't have heart, Kyle. <laughs> uh, looking at his hand, I just don't <laughs> believe it's physically possible to do this. Based on the rules of the game. <laughs> All right, top deck is a... Useless float stone for Alex. John Kettler with one prize left, perhaps moments away from being up a game here in the finals. Lysander, Lysander on the Rowlet. <laughs> you can't even knock out Rowlet. That's how bad his situation <laughs> is. He's going to play the Giratina. <laughs> uh, there are no Pokemon break no, in either deck, so I don't think Giratina is going to help very much here. <laughs> And are we just seeing a pass of the turn? Could see Stellar yeah, Guidance. Yes. Um, 
Not sure what he would go for. Maybe Hex Maniac here. He does have a couple of Versus Seekers in hand, so uh, he could play Hex Maniac this turn, Versus Seeker for another one. Uh, maybe just try to buy some time because oh, when Hex Maniac oh, okay. is used, then uh, Feather Arrow also pass. can't oh, be used. He did say pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just yeah, has yeah, to pass sorry. the turn back. Got it. I'll go ahead and yeah. attach. Uh, already played Stones. Lysander, so. Yeah. Retreat. Here we Retreat. go. Does John have a Lysander of his own to close Lysander out this game? And he does. Lysander's going to take out the Shaman EX, take John's last prize, and he's up 1 0 in the finals here from Collinsville. John Kettler on an amazing run. Can he win one of the next two games to become regional champion of the largest regionals in history. It's one game away. Uh, one game away from winning the biggest regional championship ever in the Pokemon TCG. And uh, what an accomplishment to add to that resume. Uh, with this Decidueye GX deck, when we were coming into this weekend, the new Sun and Moon expansion was out. Uh, we're here in the expanded format. The big question was, do Pokemon GX have a big impact on the expanded format? Uh, there were a lot of differing opinions. People thought maybe, I think most people thought maybe like a small impact, not a big one. But um, I don't know if anyone had a Decidueye GX deck winning this tournament and we're just one game away from seeing that happen. Now, yeah, I know that I mean, you and I talked and um, some of the other commentators too and we all thought, yeah, we'll see Tauros. Like Tauros will definitely be around. Uh, I'm sure some people will play Decidueye, but we didn't really expect a whole lot and we certainly didn't expect a Decidueye Vileplume deck to kind of pop up and just tear through this tournament. Yeah, and certainly not in this role. Uh, the decks we were thinking about were Seismitoad EX with Decidueye GX, uh, one of the other decks we saw in the top eight. Usually Decidueye GX was thought of as the role player, the thing sitting on the bench, just uh, dealing some extra damage with the ability. But in this deck, it's the star, it's the attacker, it's doing all the damage, and the role player is Vileplume. Uh, showing just how strong and versatile Decidueye GX really is. It's able to just carry a whole deck by itself. All right, so here we go. Players shuffling up for what could be the last game of this tournament. Can you look at Alex Wilson there, hoping that he can pull off two game wins in a row to become regional champion for the second time. Yeah, if you're Alex, you get to go first in this game. It's going to look much different. Uh, you get an opportunity to use all your stuff. You can play Ultra Ball. You can play, uh, you know, all this stuff that requires a Spirit Link, maybe Mega Turbo, uh, some of those cards that are prized there. <laughs> um, uh, oh, my oh. goodness. Triple Rowlet Three in the prize cards Rowlet. for John Keller. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Alex will start things off, opening with the Dragon type Rayquaza. And yeah, this game's going to be way different. Wow. Uh, Ultra Ball, Computer Search, Trainer's Mail. Do what you want, Alex Wilson. It's your turn. Ultra Ball discarding Hex Maniac and Execute will search Alex's deck for any Pokemon that he wants, likely getting a Hoopa EX. We see he pulls it to the front. Wow. <laughs> First we saw John with uh, three of his four Grass Energy prized <laughs> in the semis, and now three of the four Rowlets prized here in the finals. So if you're Alex here, you want to use this uh, first turn to power up as much as possible. By the end of this turn, you want a fully powered Mega Rayquaza EX ready to go. Uh, you, you want to be in a spot that says, even if you get Vileplume out, I don't care. I'm just going to attack you next turn. And if you can cap it off by playing a Hex Maniac, well, that's the dream. Yeah, so we do see that Hoopa hit the board, gonna go ahead and get what looks to be Shaman EX, Rayquaza EX, and Keldeo EX with that Scoundrel Ring ability. Rayquaza, Shaman, and maybe Keldeo. Some other options, chooses to go with Jirachi. Same setup as we saw uh, last game from Alex. Now, Alex does play one Getsis in his deck. Um, another option on his first turn could be to go for that Getsis uh, that did wonders for him in the top eight against Alex Shemansky where, I mean, he just destroyed Alex's hand with that Getsis and uh, Alex was unable to really recover. Game was over in two turns. That is always a tempting option in the expanded format when you're going first. You can just stellar guidance for Getsis and get rid of all your opponent's item cards. And uh, if they don't have a supporter, you just knock out their Pokemon and you win. Trainer's mail for Alex finds Rayquaza's Spirit Link, immediately gets attached to the active Rayquaza. And yeah, th this is 
going perfectly for Alex so far. Uh, Spirit Link is much like Forest of Giant Plants for the Mega Rayquaza deck. Uh, it is the thing you need to keep your turn going that allows you to evolve and keep playing your turn. If you have to Mega Evolve without the Spirit Link, your turn just ends and you can't do as many explosive things. Yeah, Shaman set up drawing three new cards. Looks like another copy of Shaman EX, Karen, and Double Colorless Energy for Alex. Still has many options here. He has a Jirachi, another Shaman, a Computer Search as well. So this turn is far from over and things are going pretty well for him. We see the Propagate ability on the, uh, with the Execute just so we can discard a few less cards, or one less card with the computer search. Just getting rid of the Karen, not going to be too useful here. And yeah, I, I think this might go for a second Hoopa EX. Uh, if not that, then a Mega Rayquaza EX, just to have it in play. Uh, you want to be able to just have that thing ready to go. He's got Double Colas in hand already. Uh, looks like eyeing up a Battle Compressor, maybe. Uh, he just wants to get his board as established as possible, because... I think if he does get fully set up, John really doesn't have the firepower to keep up with Mega Rayquaza. Uh, Decidueye GX is great in long, drawn-out games where you're disrupting your opponent, but if you have Mega Rayquaza going head-to-head -head with a Decidueye GX, uh, the 240 damage beats the 90 from Razor Leaf. Yes, uh, according to my calculations, <laughs> that is correct. And it looks like the computer search might find a Mega Rayquaza. He has pulled one to the front. There Indeed. we go. Uh, has the ancient trait uh, that allows it to evolve the turn you play down Rayquaza EX, the Delta Evolution. And um, with that Rayquaza Spirit Link as well, he does not end his turn when he Mega Evolves. And turn continuing with another Shaman EX. Set up for four new cards. Draws him even just more cards, more options to play. Uh, Alex, not only does... Not only is this kind of his game plan in general, he just wants to build up a big board, but he's also trying to get rid of every item in his deck, just so the uh, Vile Plume is less effective. You can see another propagation, it looks like. Yeah, and I think the decision Alex is going to have to come to after he's done doing all this stuff is, which supporter do I want to play? He hasn't played one yet. Uh, do I want to play the Hex Maniac, or do I want to play a Getsis? Ultra Ball discarding Execute, and... Looks like either Trainer's Mail or Versus Seeker decides to get rid of the Trainer's Mail. And let's keep this turn rolling. Alex consulting his hand, choosing to go for another copy of Shaman EX, perhaps. He's looking at Keldeo EX, too, and uh, I think that's actually a pretty important card uh, as the game goes longer in this matchup. One way you can lose from a good start as the Mega Rayquaza player is if your opponent plays a Lysander and brings out Hoopa EX. And it takes two energy to retreat, and you can get stuck sometimes. So if you can get Keldeo EX in play with that Floatstone, have that rush in and retreat combo uh, whenever you need it, that can take away some of the options your opponent has. They're definitely both important cards here. It looks like Alex is really torn between the decision here. <laughs> Do I draw more cards? <laughs> uh, grab another Shaman Do EX? Do I play it safe? It looks like he's choosing to draw more cards. Usually can, not a bad choice. Cannot blame him for that. Yeah. So Shaman EX, number three, hitting the board this turn, perhaps. Uh, only going to draw a couple cards here. It looks like he may be playing Jirachi EX as well. Trying to figure out which one he wants to do first. Yeah, it looks like he'll be drawing uh, just two cards off Shaman. Not exactly... Oh. Do you want to be Stellar Guidance first? So this makes me think he wants to play Getsis this turn. Um, otherwise, he had Versus Seeker for Hex Maniac, and man, it's after you've tasted the like Getsis for six cards, it's just so back. tempting every time. And oh, oh what Wh a hand for John Kettler. Um Turns out that Getsis was pretty good. Got rid of his only playable card. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah. This is that same situation we saw in the top eight. John Kettler needs to top deck or he loses. So gets his only hits one card, but it is the only playable one in Kettler's hand. As you hit, also draws a battle compressor <laughs> for Alex. Uh, things are going quite well here. I would say so. Uh, battle compressor coming down. 
And Ke the worst part is Killer doesn't even know the Rowlet surprised yet. <laughs> he might not even get Ke to figure Killer it out. Killer thinks he's unlucky now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, Battle Compressor was the one card Alex drew, so we'll go ahead and play that while he can. Discard some other junk he doesn't want to see anymore while also getting rid of an item card. Um, and he may play the Versus Seeker he has in his hand this turn, just in case John does top deck uh, like an Ultra Ball and have a super long turn where he gets Forest of Giant Plants, Vile Plume out. Uh, so he might play it safe and just say, all right, I'm going to Versus Seeker for Hex Maniac right now just so I don't get trapped. I don't think there's much of a reason not to. Battle Compressor finds AZ and, and basic water energy. Yeah, I don't. I, you could play your other Shaman EX and draw more cards, but I don't think there's a lot of merit in doing that here. Uh, sure, you could find like your Mega Turbo. Uh, you could draw some more stuff for next turn, but really you've done all you needed to th this turn. You've gotten your Mega Rayquaza. You've gotten your pretty full bench. You've got an energy on it. Uh, and uh, y you've destroyed your opponent's hand. <laughs> Versus Seeker does find Hex Maniac. Alex has a second copy of Versus Seeker in his hand, which looks like it might just find an AZ. Just giving him a little bit of Vile Plume protection here. Yeah, if John were to top deck an N, um, Alex would not want to draw Versus Seeker later on if he, you know, got played N, uh, drew into Vile Plume, and, you know, <laughs> all that stuff. Set up. He does. Uh, Alex does you to play the Shaman. Sets up three new cards. Finds a Mega Turbo. All right. And another copy of Shaman and a basic Water Energy. So this really is it. Uh, now there's just a fully powered attacker. If John doesn't draw a live card here, it's game over. Oh, trainer's mail. All right. The tension. What does he find? Does he find an Ultra Ball or a Professor Sycamore or anything to keep him in this game? Consulting his hand. Taking a look at the four cards. He's very good at hiding his cards from us. He sure is. <laughs> I have no doubt this is intentional. <laughs> uh, I mean, looking at his hand. Uh, okay. okay, so there is the Ultra Ball he will take. Sycamore was an option too, though, so not not a bad trainer's oh. mail right there. But uh, but now he gets to figure it out. <laughs> now he gets to know the secret that we all know. Yeah, it feels like Alex is just so well-developed. Um, has a fully powered Mega Rayquaza EX. I, I don't know, even if John does everything <laughs> he wants to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> taking some notes. Taking some notes. <laughs> <laughs> Rowlet is a jerk. <laughs> oh Times boy. three. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, dear diary, today was not a good day. <laughs> let's, let's double check to confirm. Uh, mm. Okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think he's figured it out. Uh, not one, not two, but three Rowlet in his prize cards. Um, that is the face of a broken man. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even keep a straight face? Um, anyway, he, he's going to try to figure out what his best line of play is. Um, clearly, it's Shaman EX. Um, that is obviously the card you are taking with this Ultra Ball. But uh, in terms of trying to plan out what you're doing here, it's like, uh, <laughs> what am I hoping to do now? Do I, I can play Shaman EX and still go for the Vile Plume thing, uh, and then I have one Rowlet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's Lugia. Uh, there's always that. Yeah. There, There is always that. He does have two copies. Maybe that can take him all the way. Yeah, but John is going to need uh, an excellent turn. Like, if he just plays Shaman EX and, like, plays down a Rowlet and an Oddish and it stops there, that, that's a terrible situation for him to be in. He just gets knocked out by Emerald Break. Uh, if he can string together a ton of stuff where he does get the Oddish, the Forest of Giant Plants, the Gloom, the Vile Plume, uh, and then is able to also get Decidueye GX and play this turn, then we're looking at a game. But... Uh, if he just draws into something mediocre, he cannot keep up with the Mega Rayquaza here. So set up for four. Does find a forest of giant plants. That's step one, uh, reducing Alex's bench and allowing Kettler to potentially evolve into the Vileplume or the Decidueye. 
Another Ultra Ball can find either Jirachi EX or Shaman EX here to draw additional cards. Uh, so, I mean, he's been good at finding uh, Shaman EX, but has not found any other Pokemon beyond that. It's almost like three of his Pokemon right, are prized. There's not too many to find, unfortunately, <laughs> as it turns out. So, do see uh, Ultra Ball for the Oddish this time. So, he is prioritizing that Bioplume. I think he also had Gloom in hand already. And if his last card is something like Professor Sycamore or N, right. for example, he's in good shape. So both Kettler choosing to play the N. Both players shuffling their hands in and drawing six fresh cards. But again, this this just can't be it. Like, if he draws his six cards and says pass, or even plays Vileplume and passes, he's still in a terrible spot. He's facing down a Mega Rayquaza that's hitting for 150 damage minimum every turn now. And uh, all he has is Shaman EX, which is going to give up two prize cards. And then he'll probably have to promote the next Shaman, which gets knocked out. And then, and then what? <laughs> He's got nothing. Six fresh cards for John. Let's see what he can put together this turn. And uh, bad news, Alex's hand is still good. <laughs> <laughs> So here we go. Uh, looks like Floatstone going on to Shaman EX. Uh, does John get to continue with the turn here? He's already played two Ultra Ball. Does he find a third one or perhaps Computer Search to keep this turn going? Again, he needs a lot of stuff. Uh, when your opponent did what Alex did on his first turn, you need to respond in the same way. You, you need to have an excellent turn. Have you ever felt true helplessness, Kyle? Because that's because Kettler has. <laughs> I mean, true helplessness would be all four Rowlet prized, right? He can at least get one Decidueye GX in play. Uh, all right, you're a glass half full kind of guy. <laughs> I get it. Uh, Shaman EX, number three coming out for John. Continuing to draw more cards. And uh, again, this will be his last opportunity to draw extra cards here. Uh, he only plays three Shaman EX, so... This is it. He, he's got to draw the good stuff here. The problem is he just needs so much of it. But here we go. Shaman EX hitting the board. Set up, drawing four brand new cards for John Kettler. Do we at least see a Vile Plume this turn? Hey, the a one Rowlet. Wow. He trained that Rowlet very well. All right, perhaps not completely helpless. <laughs> uh... If uh, like if Alex knew <laughs> that that was the only Rowlet John had, uh, he, uh, would he Lysander the Rowlet and just knock it out? <laughs> I think so. Maybe maybe he has the read. Maybe he'll just do that. So John just promotes the Oddish and passes the turn. Uh, I don't think Oddish is going to last very long against that Mega Rayquaza EX. Now Alex's hand is full of interesting stuff. Um, he has a lot of good cards, but no Skyfield. And that's going to be the limiting factor. He doesn't have any bench space to play his Hoopa EX and his other big Pokemon there. Uh, he can play Hex Maniac if a Vileplume ever does come, but I think all he's going to do this turn is use Emerald Break. Yeah, just simple attach the double colorless to the Rayquaza. Emerald Break, take a knockout. Oh, Colorous hits the chorus. Off the prize. Now he's in business. All right, Kettler promotes Shaman. Draws for the turn. Cards in hand right now. What can he do? <laughs> uh, he can't get more than one Rowlet. We can cross that off the list. Yes. Double colorless coming down on the bench Shaman. Oh, the active Shaman. And the Professor Sycamore drawing John a fresh new hand of seven cards. Uh, if you're John here, I mean, obviously you're just fighting to stay alive in this game, but... Uh, long term, I mean, what is your game plan? Uh, how do you expect to be able to win this game from this position? Only one Rowlet at your disposal. Your opponent, fully powered Mega Rayquaza EX, going to have the prize lead, uh, is already starting to power up that second Rayquaza EX on the bench. I mean, realistically, what are you hoping to do? Um, I, I think maybe one of his only ways to win at this point is to go for one of those plays where he Lysander's out Hoopa EX, and uh, Alex can't find any way to retreat it, and he slowly picks away with Decidueye GX's Feather Arrow ability. I, I think 
that might be one of his only ways to win at this point. Trainer's Mail finds a Revitalizer for Kettler. Not quite sure what uh, Grass Pokemon are in the discard pile, but we'll see soon. Oh, there's one Decidueye GX. Yeah, right on top there. there we go, and is there a Vileplume to go with it? Nope, just another Decidueye GX. Uh, and an Oddish. <laughs> just considering his options here, Gloom also possible. Looks yeah, like it's possible he may want to promote another Oddish after this Sky Return. Um, yeah. Just as another, like, well, I don't want to have anything else get knocked out. Yeah, uh, I don't want Shaman EX to get knocked out and give you two prizes. I don't want Decidueye GX to take a hit, potentially get knocked out if you have Sky Field. After all, I only have one Rowlet. Um, but oh, Computer Search. So we will see Vileplume this turn. Computer Search discards the Oddish and a level ball after the Decidueye GX hits the board. So yeah, I, th I think you're right. I think Kettler basically has one path to victory. He relies on Alex not being able to uh, draw much after a potential Lysander. And yeah, we'll see what he took with the computer search. Most likely a Vileplume in this situation. Uh, need to cut off the item cards if he wants to have any chance <laughs> in coming back in this game. And at this point, I mean, if you're Alex, you got to be a little... Uh, I don't know, you, you gotta be looking at ways you can lose at this point. Uh, you have to be like, okay, I am in a great position. What can my opponent do to beat me? Uh, that's how you have to think in these situations. You, if you just attack every turn, you probably win. But how can my opponent stop that from happening? And Kettler does have Lysander's in hand, so I assume that's how he's gonna try to stop that from happening. This turn, he sky returns, promotes a Shaman. Alex building up that second Rayquaza on the bench. Vileplume is in play, so no more item cards allowed. And Alex did get the Colrus off the prizes, so he can choose to draw a bunch of cards. His hand's not very playable now, so he's going to choose to do, drawing eight. Sweet. His hand was very close to being excellent. Uh, had a Hex Maniac in hand, had a Mega Rayquaza. If he just had a Spirit Link, uh, I think he would have just played Hex Maniac. Spirit Link, Mega Evolved, had two Mega Rayquaza ready to go. But um, as it stood, it really wasn't that great beyond that option. So uh, if he would have known he was going to draw Rayquaza Spirit Link, he may have just held on to the hand. But uh, otherwise, might as well play Chorus and try to draw some stuff. Yeah, eight new cards for Alex. Uh, looks very similar. <laughs> Lots of Pokemon EX. Uh, not a lot of stuff to play. Again, just lacking that sky field. Uh, if he could find one of his stadium cards and had more bench space, he would have had an opportunity to do more stuff here. Yeah, looks like he's just gonna go ahead and take the knockout on the Shaman EX. Kettler gonna count his deck. Not too many prizes, or not too many cards left in it. Three prizes left okay. for Alex. And this has to be a big turn for John. He's gotta be doing something here. Uh, otherwise, he's just gonna keep getting hit by Emerald Break. There is the Lysander. And we may see this slow strategy begin where Hoopa EX is stuck in the active spot and Decidueye GX chips away. The only problem, there's only one Decidueye GX to work with. Yeah, this is going to be a, it's an exciting moment in the sense that it's how John can win the game, but it's going to be a slow uh, attrition based uh, game here as two damage counters per turn does not go a long way as a double colorless gets attached to the active Shaman EX. Indeed, and I do believe Alex got Skyfield out of his prize card, so he can maybe start to play some of these Pokemon EX from his hand. Um, we'll see if he can pull off anything big here. And Lugia EX coming into play now for John. Uh, if Alex were able to move this Hoopa EX out of the active spot, play Skyfield, get enough bench Pokemon, he could Emerald Break for a knockout. But no, he's just going to Mega Evolve and pass the turn. Okay. Mega Evolve ends his turn. Goes back to Kettler. I like that too. You need to do that at some point. Right. Why not just do it now? Two more damage counters. Bring that uh, Mega Rayquaza up to 90 damage. Kettler attaches a Grass Energy to the Bentis of UI GX and I think just passes the turn back. Versus Seeker is a draw for Alex. Not much has changed. Well, Alex does have some plays. Um, so he can Skyfield, play the Dragonite EX to get back Jirachi EX. Stellar Guidance for AZ. 
uh, which he did get back with Burst of Seeker earlier, and uh, then pick up Hoopa EX, Emerald Break for a knockout and go down to one prize. Uh, looks like that's what he's eyeing up. So there's the Skyfield part one of the plan you just described, getting rid of the Forest of Giant plans. There's a Dragonite. Gonna be pulling up that Jirachi. Jirachi execute. And as uh, we found out earlier in the tournament, you have to take two basic Pokemon with pull up, so he has to take the execute as well. Stellar Guidance. Oh, I guess Hexmaniac's good too. <laughs> so uh, Hexmaniac will allow him to play a bunch of his item cards if he wants to go that route. Uh, if he has a Float Stone, oh, and he does. That's huge. So he has the bench space to put down Keldeo EX. Uh, he can rush in, then play Hexmaniac, and then play the Float Stone. So here we Sequencing go. very important here. <laughs> Just as you described, rush in. Hex Maniac turns off irritating pollen. Floatstone allowing the Keldeo to retreat for free. Truly a thing of beauty. <laughs> Very well played by Alex. Understanding exactly what he needs to do in this situation to kind of close things out. Uh, going to continue to play his item cards just so he can. Well, okay. Hitler's going to just concede, not let him play. <laughs> and there we see. Three Rowlet in the prize cards as John will show his opponent. <laughs> and Alex, <laughs> all he can do is laugh. <laughs> all right, game three. Largest regionals ever. Two unexpected decks. One game. <laughs> One game. <laughs> That's it. One more game left in this tournament. Uh, will it be John Kettler taking it home with his Decidueye Vileplume deck, or will it be Alex Wilson with the Mega Rayquaza deck? Kenny, now we've seen two games. Uh, are you changing your pick? <laughs> no, no, I'm, st I'm staying the course. Okay. Uh, let's, no. let's see four prize rallets this time. <laughs> uh, now, John Kettler will be able to choose who goes first for game number three, which means he will be going first, and he will have an opportunity, just like in game one, to get that Vileplume in play before Alex has a chance to do anything. And, um, and just judging on how Alex's turns have been, uh, actually, game one, he didn't get the Bioplume turn one. Alex just right. didn't do anything on his first turn. But um, after seeing what Alex's turns can be like, I think John, the only thing going through his head is, let's get that Bioplume. Both players shuffling up, preparing for a huge final game, determining it all. Indeed, uh, the stakes could not be higher here. One game of Pokemon to win $5,000 uh, and 200 championship points and the title of regional champion. Uh, these players have gone through 14 rounds of Swiss, all best of three, then two top eight matches, also best of three, uh, played two games up to this point, and now just one game, that's all, it's and we have a winner. A single game. I was going to say the... Uh the, attend the size attendance of the tournaments back when Kettler was winning regionals isn't the only thing that's changed. That uh, $5,000 prize is also a big game, Indeed. even even compared to last year. So uh, <laughs> a lot on the line for these players as we ent enter the final, g final game of this tournament. So here we go. If you're watching, use that hashtag, play Pokemon, get on social media, tell us who you think is going to win. Are you watching this epic match between John Kettler and Alex Wilson? Who is going to take home the title? Uh, it looks like John has to mulligan, unfortunately. So he'll have to shuffle in and draw a new hand. Looks like Alex is uh, debating between starting with Shaman EX or Execute. <laughs> uh, yeah. He chooses never, Shaman EX. Never a great spot to be in. Oh, one Hex Maniac prized for Alex and gets this. Uh, gets this not as important when you're going second, but one Hex Maniac is huge. And so he, he did choose to start with Shaman EX, Kettler. Shuffling for his mulligan, and let's see what he can put together here. Looking for that easy vile plume in his opening hand. How many Rowlet do you think are prized this game? Uh, I'll set the line at 1.5. <laughs> Over <laughs> under. Uh, under. All right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's find out. Here we go. How many Rowlet will we see? One Dartrix. All right. Well, zero Rowlet. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right, game number three, here we go. And it looks like John Keller going first with that Rowlet. 
Will he be able to pull off the Forest of Giant Plants, the first turn, Vile Plume, and start this lockdown? Rowlet opposite Shaman. Kettler determining what his first play of the game will be. Looks like a Trainer's Mail. Top four cards of his deck. What will he select? Looks like nothing. Immediately Ooh. throws it back. Now, uh, spoiler alert, if John gets a turn one Vile Plume, Alex has nothing. <laughs> uh, he's got Ultra Ball, he's got some items. He has a Shaman EX he could play for like one card, but his hand is miserable against a Vile Plume. John playing Computer Search, trying to decide what to discard. Looks like he goes with uh, Lysander and Lugia EX. Uh, always a beautiful sight. Uh, when you go first and you see a computer search in your hand. Uh, whenever you see that, you know everything's going to be just fine. You get to search for any card in your deck. Uh, if there's any one card you want in your opening hand to start a game, it is computer search. It is the catch-all. It is played in the high majority of expanded decks for a reason. Most basically powerful A spec. Yeah, it, it just always does something. Right. Like there's uh, things like Dowsing Machine, which have pretty powerful effects, but uh, sometimes you just can't even play it. You don't have stuff in your discard pile to even get back. There's cool things like Scoop Up Cyclone and Scramble Switch. I've even seen Rock Guard and Life do every once in a while, yeah. but sometimes those cards just don't do anything. Computer Search, as long as you have cards to discard, it's doing something good, uh, and that's why most people are playing it. John deciding what to take. Looks like he's taking a Forest of Giant Plants off of the Computer Search. Yep, that's the card you need to get going. Without that Forest of Giant Plants, you cannot get these explosive turn one starts with Vileplume and Decidueye GX. So uh, no real surprise that that's one of the first cards he wants to go for. But uh, that does tell us he has some other stuff in his hand uh, to draw some extra cards. Yeah, Forest of Giant Plants is really the key to making everything, that John, making everything happen that John wants to happen as it hits the field here. Are we going to see the turn one Decidueye? Are we going to see the turn one Vileplume? He might have an N. He hasn't shuffled his deck yeah. quite yet. Only two cards left, so I'm going to guess N is the supporter of choice. And uh, that's probably great news for Alex. He gets a new hand. <laughs> All right. John Kettler, Alex Wilson, both drawing a fresh new hand of six cards. Alex looks at the hand like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I wasn't joking when I said if, if Vileplume got played, uh, Alex, the only two cards he could play were Execute and Shaman. <laughs> Both players shuffling up. John just crossing his fingers that he can put together the Vile Plume this turn, prevent Alex from playing all of those necessary item cards. Yeah, what a huge six cards off this end. Uh, if John draws nothing here, uh, if like he just doesn't even get another basic Pokemon, uh, we could see like turn one Emerald Break, game over. Uh, if he draws a lot of stuff, it could turn into a Vile Plume. These six cards are so important. There's a Sidui GX. Pretty good. Uh, also pretty good. Oh. But does he have an Ultra Ball or any way to get Vile Plume? No. Doesn't look like it. Just the energy has to pass the turn. Not the start John Kettler's looking for. Can Alex Wilson respond with a big turn of his own? Oh, I think he's got well, a lot of stuff going looks on. Looks like he can. Battle Compressor will be the first card he plays. Also saw a Shaman. I think uh, we're going to get comfortable because we're going to be in for a long one here. <laughs> on Alex's side. Uh, the big thing is, can Alex get that Mega Rayquaza EX powered up on the first turn? It is not out of the question for him to knock out Decidueye GX on the first turn of the game. If he can find all the cards necessary, get the Sky Field, the eight benched Pokemon, he can do exactly 240 damage, knock out Decidueye GX on the first turn. And I, I don't know how John would come back from that. It would just be devastating. Yeah, I love the explosive starts that are possible in the Rayquaza deck. And uh, oh Alex boy. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Keldeo EX, Rayquaza EX, hitting the board, double colorless on the Rayquaza. Floatstone, Floatstone on the Keldeo. Five cards with setup. Big five cards here. Oh, oh Hoopa. And does he find a Spirit Link to get this Mega Rayquaza going? He does not yet. Yet. <laughs> uh, Hoopa EX going to be the first Pokemon to get played down here. 
he doesn't play... You know, I was wondering if he'd play like a Skyla in his deck. Sometimes you can play Skyla just to have a supporter in your deck that you could search for with Jirachi uh, to grab a Spirit Link, but it looks like not the case in Alex's list here. Um, he has no supporter-based way to actually search for that Spirit Link, so he's going to have to draw into it with uh, a Shaman EX or a supporter. It looks like Hoopa is going to find Rayquaza and Jirachi. Leaving one more EX, potential EX Pokemon in the deck. Looking to draw more cards with Shaman, I imagine. Yeah, and there's a couple ways to go. Uh, Skyfield clearly going to come down here. But uh, do you want to set up a couple times for only one or two cards, probably? Uh, or do you just want a Stellar Guidance now and grab something like a Chorus? He chooses to set up for two Hex Maniac and Ooh. Trainer's Mail. Here we go. Does he find the Spirit Link? He does not. Well, he does find Ultra Ball. Um, can thin his hand out further to set up with Shaman EX one more time. And uh, one more chance to draw that Rayquaza Spirit Link that he desperately needs to get this turn one attack off. Ultra Ball discards Execute and Hex Maniac. Yeah, I don't think he's even going to take anything with this. Uh, he already has Mega Rayquaza in hand. He has Shaman and Jirachi EX both in hand as well, and only two more bench spots. So just effectively playing Ultra Ball to get rid of three cards in his hand so he can draw those three cards with Shaman EX. Here it comes. Shaman set up. The suspense. Will three he find cards. the Spirit Link off this? Three? No. No. All right, well, uh, now what? <laughs> uh, well, he's still got Jirachi EX. He can Stellar Guidance for Colrus and draw, you know, nine cards. Not bad. Very casual. <laughs> uh, and go from there, perhaps still find... I mean, all he needs now is Spirit Link, Mega Rayquaza, Mega Turbo, and he gets the 240 damage knockout. Uh, there's even some merit in just saying, fine, I'll just Mega Evolve, but I, I think... The Chorus drawing mm -hmm. nine cards, you're going to at least be able to do that anyway. So why not oh, go yeah. for oh, it? Oh, yeah. You, no, you got to go for it. You got to go for it here. Yeah, especially in the finals. Come yes. on. Come on. Be but bold. Turn one, two, forty. That That's what you came to do. All right. Nine new cards for Alex. Can he put it together? Can he get a knockout on this 240 <laughs> HP Pokemon? Look at how crammed that bench is. There's no space for all those eight Pokemon. Here we go. No Spirit Link. Spirit mega Link. Mega Turbo Spirit Link. Does he find it? There's no Mega. Trainer's Mail. And computer yes, search. computer search. Wow. And it's going to happen. Alex, with the last possible card, is going to pull off this turn one attack, and John Kettler is in a nightmare of a situation at this point. Uh, did not get his turn one. Vileplume is just sitting back has to watch Alex Wilson go off and do his first turn magic. Computer search, going to throw away Execute and maybe like Giratina. Oh, uh, actually Floatstone. So here we go. This uh, is pure Pokemon trading card game. <laughs> this is this is how it was intended to be played. We are here in the expanded format. Here's what you can pull off. Turn one, 240 damage if you pull the right cards. And Alex has done it. Spirit Link. Mega Rayquaza, Mega Turbo. Uh oh. <laughs> if, we, if only we had a face cam. We've already seen Kettler's uh, pain once. Here we go. Uh, so we're going to see the shortcut uh, Keldeo EX, Russian, and Retreat. And this is it. Turn one, the dream. Mega Rayquaza EX, three energy, eight Pokemon on the bench with Skyfield, Emerald Break. 240 damage. A stage 2 GX goes down on the first turn of the game. Pokemon is the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> uh, John Kettler responding with this Professor Sycamore. Uh, also has Forest of Giant Plants, so going to reduce the bench back down to 8. No more Skyfield. Uh, he's going to need that to stay in the game here. Needs to find another Decidueye GX. Needs to maybe get Vileplume into play. Some way to stay in this game.
Uh, unfortunately for him, the Keldeo plus Floatstone takes away his Lysander option that he tried to do uh, in the previous game. I mean, there, there's just so much damage coming at him. How does he deal with it? Yeah, it kind of feels like it's just all on board for Alex now. Like He doesn't need anything else. I mean, I guess if you get Decidueye GX here, uh, if you're able to get a Floatstone and then Lugia EX can maybe Arrow Ball for 100 damage, plus 20 from a Feather Arrow, um, set up for a second Arrow Ball. I mean, it, it's got to be a multi-turn plan. This turn, you are not dealing with that thing. Uh, John already also played a supporter, so he couldn't play anything like Zerosic to discard the double Colas energy. Uh, a couple more Rowlet will help, but he's attaching to the bench. That means Dartrix is just Dartrix is just being left up there. Yeah, Keller attaches, passes, and now Alex is just free to do whatever he wants. No vile plume in play. Nothing really going on for Kettler. Battle compressor, and it just feels like Alex has it all. Because he does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, battle compressor, just to improve his odds here, getting rid of some cards he doesn't want to see anymore. Uh, Karen probably used pretty well against Night March, but not going to be useful in this matchup, so we're just going to discard it. Um, and then maybe throwing away some other supporter cards that he can get back immediately with those Versus Seeker in his hand. Uh, might as well play those Versus Seeker while you can. Battle Compressor getting rid of AZ, Karen. Trying to decide on the very last card, Basic Water Energy. Yep, and uh, I mean Alex, again, is just going to try to solidify his position here. He is in complete control. Uh, if he can maybe power up a second Mega Rayquaza EX, put himself in an even better spot, uh, gets the Skyfield. So bench size back up to eight for both players. And uh, Alex also does have Chorus he can play to draw some cards again. But it's like Hex Maniac is going to be his go-to play. Yeah, versus Seeker for the Hex Maniac, and now I'm just going to be able to shut off a potential vial. Next turn, Knockout, going down to three prizes. Oh, gets another Hex Maniac <laughs> off the prizes. So abilities are not in John Kettler's future, uh, unless he's able to play an N or something like that. He even draws Jirachi EX, which he can't even use. Right. John does play a Forest of Giant Plants, seven new cards off of Sycamore, but is it enough? Well, if he can find Dartrix and Decidueye GX here, uh, he can Hollow Hunt GX to maybe get some resources back and maybe set up for a future turn. Got rid of the Skyfield again, so maybe a Decidueye GX would be safe in this situation. Um, yeah, he, he needs something. Uh, if it's just Rowlet, that gets knocked out. Everything else in his deck pretty much gets knocked out. I can't see him doing anything unless he gets Decidueye GX out this turn. It's kind of all or nothing here for Kettler. Clock is ticking. Only three prize cards left for Alex. Bursted out of the gates with a 240 damage Emerald Break. And, oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, floatstone on the active. And will John retreat into Rowlet or Gloom here? Uh, probably Rowlet, probably still valuing Vileplume. Um, man, just not a good spot to be in. Yeah, no, just nothing really going on. Oh, are we going to see an Double attack colorless. from Rowlet? <laughs> 10 damage? Yes. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> crowd, crowd cheering. <laughs> crowd goes wild for Rowlet, as they should. Um, but uh, unfortunately, Rowlet not going to withstand an Emerald Break from Mega Rayquaza and just two prizes. Stand between Alex Wilson and his second regional championship victory. Can John Kettler do something here to come back? Another Hex Maniac was played. No abilities once again. Can he find Decidueye GX this turn? Kettler really, really making us wait for it. <laughs> uh, you're trying to think, what, what can he even do? Are there any alternative ways to win? Uh, the Keldeo EX with the Floatstone taking away most of them. Now, he does Ultra Ball away a Decidueye GX, so making me think he has Dartrix, or he has another one in hand and can grab Dartrix here. 
and uh, maybe pull off that Hollow Hunt GX attack, but then it's just Skyfield, three Pokemon, Emerald Break for the championship. He does get that Dartrix. What can Kettler do? Oh. Sidui GX. Does get to right. Sidui GX up and Step running. One. Um, are there any three cards that can help him here? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Man, trying to figure out some way. I mean, that Zerosic would have been nice to discard Double Cullis, maybe. Um, could even discard Floatstone off of uh, the Keldeo EX on the bench to set up for that Lysander play, but... Uh, the problem is this is just too slow. You're using your supporter for the turn. You need to have some big turn where you drop an N and try to mess up Alex's hand. Um, it looks like he might be going for the Razor Leaf this turn, hitting for 90 to perhaps set up a knockout on the following turn if he were able to get like a Lugia EX plus a Feather Arrow for a knockout. And just doing anything he can to not lose at this point and maybe knock out this Mega Rayquaza. Because if there's one flaw here... Alex has not built up another one. Uh, he has no Mega Rayquaza on the bench. Just a regular one. No Spirit Link in play. Um, no energy on the bench. So if John were somehow able to deal with the active Pokemon and then end Alex down to a low hand size and also get Vileplume out, Alex would actually be in quite a predicament. But uh, again, we're a long way from, uh, from here and being there. <laughs> They're seeing an Ultra Ball from Kettler here. Determining what to take. Yeah, I'm not sure how many Rowlet have even been knocked out at this point. Uh, even Dartrix could start to become an issue. He could take Vileplume and just take away item cards, but... Uh, and yeah, looks like that's what he's going for, but it's... Is it too little too late at this point? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Uh, Vileplume can do a lot of weird stuff. And here we go. Irritating Pollen. No more item cards. Um, but if, again, if Alex just has Skyfield and three Pokemon, he wins. Yeah, it looks like Kettler's debating what to do here. Either going for the GX attack, which or just hitting for 90. Yeah, I feel like you got to just attack here. Yeah. Uh, you have to knock this thing up, but no, nope. he's going for the, the hollow marker hunt. has been flipped. GX attack. Wow. I just, I just don't see how he wins if he doesn't deal damage there, though. Like he needs the only way he wins is to deal with the Rayquaza, right? Sure seems like it. I mean, he's taking the Zerosic and the end. If he could play both of those in the same turn, sure, that'd be awesome. Discard the double coilless, play the end, but uh, it, it just seems too slow. All right, Alex's turn. What does he have? Now, Alex does have a Lysander. He could bring out Bioplume and knock it out if he wanted to. Uh, I, I think attacking is just probably the best scenario for him. Do 150 damage. Uh, and then if John wants to retreat next turn, just play the Lysander. Take your two prizes and win. But no, he no, actually is going to play the Lysander. He's just going to go ahead and take the knockout on the Vileplume here. Is this the opening like John needed? One prize. Keller has access to items. He can... Whoa! Double Revitalizer. Double revitalizer. Kenny, we might be seeing a comeback oh. of epic proportions here. <laughs> uh, double Revitalizer. Vileplume going to come all the way back. Uh, maybe a Rowlet as well. John going to see... All right, how much stuff have you used? How many Hex Maniac? How many, uh, like, Skyfields and stuff? How many Sycamore have you used? I mean, an end to one is no joke. Uh, when you have a clean Decidui GX, no damage on it, only five bench Pokemon, no backup attacker. Can John Kettler pull off a miracle here? This would truly be a miracle. <laughs> Man. You gotta wonder what would happen if Alex had just attacked. Just put 150, we just put the win on the board, right? Yeah. 150. I mean, maybe he was scared of uh, something happening there, but I don't. Looking at John's deck list, I don't know if there's a whole lot he could do to to prevent this. Rowlet, uh, Lugia, double colorless, Vileplume comes down. There's an end. 
N to one. Uh, N is responsible for more comebacks than any other card in the history of the Pokemon TCG. And you might be seeing why right here. John, although he's down six to one in prize cards, staring down a fully powered Mega Rayquaza EX. He's going to make Alex go down to one card in hand. And he doesn't have any way on board to take the win. If Alex just draws item cards, he slowly gets knocked out, and he could lose. No way. <laughs> well, we'll, well, wait. we'll wait till Alex's turn. Um, I think I saw what he drew, yes. and I cannot believe it. But John is going to play the turnout, go for the Razor Leaf, and hope his opponent doesn't do anything but the one card off of his end to one. There's an attack. Alex starts his turn. The tournament Lysander. winner. <laughs> Lysander off the end to one, and Alex Wilson is your Collinsville, Illinois regional champion. Unbelievable top deck. Incredibly tense finals match. This is why Pokemon is the greatest game in the world. Congratulations to Alex Wilson for becoming a regional champion. Uh, and Alex like, yeah, it wasn't bad, I guess. <laughs> Not a bad draw. Deece. Uh, Wow. And I mean, that was no exaggeration. That game could have turned around in an instant.